Hello everyone, welcome to Kakao's Hideout. I am Kakao Kanemi. I am going to do a choose a number uh, video reading for today. And the topic will be... Um, just a moment. I forgot what that is. Uh, who wants to contact you and why? So, uh, this is... Um, a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate, please do not take the message. So let me prepare my notes. Okay. So, um, if you would like to have a personal reading with me, uh, the, my Facebook page is on the um, description box below. And let's start. I have the dice here. Let's see how many choices are there for you to make. It's one plus three. So four choices. So choose a number between one to four. And let's start. It's going to be a three card reading. Uh, first card will be the description of the person. The, the person who wants to contact you um, and uh, second card will be um, why he wants to contact you and third card will be um, the advice oh no it's going to be a four card reading so who wants to contact you second card will be why he wants to contact you and third card will be what you need to do about it. And fourth card will be the possible result or possible outcome if you're going to do as advice. So again, this is a general reading. So please do not take the message if it doesn't resonate. You can check a lot of YouTube um, tarot readers um, if you like. It's okay with me. If you do not subscribe, just subscribe if you really want to. Okay, just... Uh, Let's, um, let me see if there's anything else I would like to say. I guess that'll be all, so let's start. For the people who chose number one, <clears throat> who wants to contact them and why? First shuffle, two shuffle, second, okay, this card wants to come up. It's eight of pentacles, so this is someone who's... Financially stable, not necessarily a boss or a supervisor, but more maybe of a co-worker. Um, <clears throat> this is someone who's very hardworking, very dedicated to his or her duties, and is possibly a candidate for promotion. So may, this may be a former uh, co-worker, or maybe a current co-worker who hadn't been communicating with you recently so let's see why he or she wants to contact you oh, oh, five of wands so the reason he or she wants to contact you has got something to do with a challenge maybe he or she needs to <clears throat> come up with an idea to um, outwit uh, possible competitors and in this case, uh, the page of once reversed, jumped out of the deck. So maybe he or she's got um, some problems regarding communication or expressing his or her thoughts about a specific um, task. Or maybe there is some sort of a misunderstanding between you and this person. So take it however it resonates. <clears throat> And uh, for some reason in my mind, I have heard that there is a possibility that this person is having a problem with the child. Maybe he or she's got a, a child and um, maybe he or she wants to contact you to um, help him or her about his or her child. Maybe um, he's too busy right now and he needs a babysitter. Or... His or her child is much more closer to you, and he or she wants you to talk to this child to, you know, explain things, perhaps. Or just be 
a moral support for the child, perhaps. Take it wherever it resonates. And now, uh, what you need to do about it is strength reversed. So, this has got something to do with giving in to some sort of um, an expectation. Or, yeah, giving in to an expectation by the many. And this card wants to come out as a clarification, so Ace of Swords. So maybe there is some... Maybe you mm, don't want to... Okay. Uh, maybe you don't want to... There's something that this, the people around you uh, is pushing you to do, or to say. And somehow you even if you don't want to do it or you don't want to say it it seems like you're going to do it anyway in order to clarify things between you and this person so if this is uh, an ex-wife ex-husband kind of thing maybe <clears throat> this person who wants to contact you is a workaholic and he or she does not want to or he or she is only calling you when it's convenient and everybody's expecting you to just you know um do as expected but for some reason this time you need to clarify things out and defy the expectation of the people around you okay possible result two swords so something that you've been indecisive about is going to be tackled is going to be settled it has got something to do with emotional uh, fulfillment ten of cups so if this type of arrangement is not um is something that you do not want to continue then maybe it's going to discontinue in order to give way to whatever it is that you want uh queen of wands reversed so this is uh, there's a possibility that um, whatever whatever aspect of yourself that um, robs you of your confidence, um, it's going to be settled as well. And you'll be able to have a happy home life. Seems like you need to stand up for this. Uh, I mean, you need to stand up for yourself. And um, confront this person. Maybe I always I, I'm always sensing that there is a possibility that this person is only con contacting you if it's convenient for them and if you're only needed. So maybe you need to uh, to stand up for this person and tell this person not to treat you that way. Yeah, that's all I get. Bottom of the card, Four of Pentacles. So there is something that um, you have been holding on that you need to let go. So in this case, maybe you're holding on to the relationship or maybe you're holding on to this person's approval or this person's attention and you need to let go of it. Especially if this person is only uh if this person only remembers you when you're needed so there that's for you number one now let's start for number two okay for the people who chose number two who wants to contact them in 20 i'll choose number three just a moment. For the people who chose number two, who wants to contact them and why? Okay, this card wants to come up. Okay, someone who had accomplished something. Possibly a Leo, Scorpio, 
a Taurus or an Aquarius. So this is someone who had just finished a chapter of their life and would like to contact you um, upon transiting into something new in their situation. Let's see why. Why is this person trying to contact um, number two, please? Three shuffles, please. One. Okay. Knight of Swords reversed. So, the reason why he or she wants to contact you has got something to do with a message. I don't know. Uh, an opportunity that has been neglected or has not been grabbed on time. Or this can also indicate that this person wants to talk to you or to communicate with you or contact you um, to settle an issue with a Knight of Swords reversed. So maybe someone wanted the talk, the two of you to fall apart. Knight of Wands, uh, I mean Knight of Swords reversed is someone who will say and do everything to uh, distract you or to destroy your relationship or j and then laugh at laugh at you when you're when you are suffering so this is actually a very uh, a total snake a total treacherous and um, immature although intelligent person so if this is a situation uh, there must be some opportunity before that hasn't been grabbed on time. Um, maybe due to um, betrayal, maybe due to non-disclosure from people that has been um, assigned to tell you about the details of it. And if this is a person, then this must be some sort of a secret enemy somewhere that is trying to destroy your communication or your relationship with this person so what you need to do about it is three of pentacles so um oh no sorry i forgot upon shuffling i asked in my mind that to clarify the the knight of swords so three of pentacles is the Clarif clarifier for Knight of Swords. So, this person is trying to contact you um, in order to resume some sort of a teamwork or a group work that has been destroyed by an envious, jealous, treacherous person who had been part of your group before. So, maybe he or she is trying to either. Um, make it up to you or maybe this person is contacting you in order to to continue the the teamwork or maybe this person it was the knight of swords was the one who screwed up and who would like to contact you again in order to make it up for you so there that's the possibility take it or whatever it resonates and um, let's see what you need to do about this person or about this situation. So what you need to do about this person is Ten of Cups reversed. And um, Seven of Wands upright. So there is a possibility that <clears throat> this person took all of the credit from something that you've worked hard for or had been unfair uh, to you in the past 
So what you need to do is uh, maybe settle the score. Maybe uh, this person was a jerk and has been transformed um, due to a transition of a situation and would like to make it up for you. So the advice is to go for it, ask for what is owed from you, and do not give up. So possible outcome, if you're going to do is advised. Okay, one card jumped. Ten of Swords. The betrayal, the backstabbing, reverse now. So it's something that is that should belong to the past. At least you know who did uh, screwed you up in the, fa uh, okay. in the past. And it's going to be settled. Now that he, this person is trying to contact you. I'm sensing that this is a person who did you wrong in the past and would like to make up, make it up for you this time. Okay. Yeah. Outcome. Justice. Analyzing the pros and cons of the situation. So maybe this one is trying to get back in your life to pay, pay for his or her sins. So maybe this one's one to, you know, um, settle a score or, or, or make up for all of the things that, he, the bad things that he or she did before. So there, that's for you, number two. And uh, let's proceed now to number three. Who wants to contact number three and why? This card wants to come up. Two of Wands. So this is someone who's hesitating. Shall I go there? Shall I go that? Shall I contact this person? Shall I not? And um, there is a possibility that this is also a previous partner. Or is a current partner. Or I would like to pull up a clarifier for that. Who is this person who wants to contact number three? And why? Okay, this card wants to come up. Six of Cups. Hmm. Someone who wants to move on, or someone who wants to look like they've moved on. Uh, this can be someone who's been a partner, who's been like a, a partner in crime. Someone who has always been there with you whenever, wherever you go. Or whenever, wherever you go. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see why. He or she would like to. Okay, this one came up. Five of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. So this is someone who wanted to start a connection with you, but for some reason it had been screwed up. Five of Pentacles is... Um... Someone who's very, what, sh what shall I say? Five is change. Pentacles, money. So they don't know what to do with their money. They don't know what to do to, um, to, uh, to improve or, or to stabilize their financial situation. That's why they want to contact you. Maybe they've started a business on their own and they realized they needed you. Or maybe this person was busy building up his or her career and 
they realize they needed you? Just a moment. Okay, this person who wants to contact you was a partner in crime, maybe a, a, a friend or a, a co-worker that has always been uh, with you before. I'm saying before because there is a Six of Cups uh, reversed here, so there's a possibility that he or she would like to um, imply that um, he or she has moved on already. That's why their uh, Two of Wands is also about hesitation, going that way, going that way. But in uh, in the sense of, if Two of Swords is about logic, um, this has got something to do with passion or desire. So um, Wands is about, not necessarily emotions, that'll be Two of Cups. So it's like something that they want for themselves. If Two of Cups, they want for the partnership. I mean, two of, yeah, two of cups, it's about um, the give and take of emotions or what what is needed to stabilize the give and take of the emotions between the, the partnership. Two of wands is um, like the, the versatile um, approach of partnership. It's like a established partnership. Um, Regarding business, regarding friendship, regarding, um, it can also be regarding love, uh, family, maybe a cousin, a cousin, um, or a nephew, uh, an uncle, auntie, uh, a niece, someone who had been there always, uh, for you, or who, who you've been there always for them, eh? or this is someone that you've, always supported in the past and they would like to uh show it to you that they've moved on but it seems like they're not and um the reason why he or she is contacting you because there's something about his or her career that he doesn't he or she doesn't know how to handle like he or she doesn't know what to do to um to improve or stabilize it seems like he or she has started something and it's not giving back the gain that he or she was expecting that's the reason why so let's see what you need to do about this number three for well, the people who chose number three what does he or she needs to do about this? I chose number three, but I don't know who this person is. <laughs> Death card. Cut off the connection. <clears throat> Why? Page of Swords reversed, this is a very immature person. Someone who is not giving up to screw you up. Number three. I think I know the person now. Anyway, this is someone who seemed to not want you to succeed, especially financially. But it seems like they're having their karma in... Their bad karma and they are the ones who are screwed up financially now that's why they want to contact you because they've started something that is not giving them the expected amount or the expected gain but the advice is for you to cut them off completely um, from your life because this is someone who used to screw you up who's who tend to be very glad whenever you screw up whenever you have problems and it seems uh page of swords is the immature prankster traitor so this can also indicate that there are po there are times um that you've 
been problematic about your finances because of them? Because they intentionally screwed your finances? And they're not giving up. It seems like they don't want you to succeed because they are not succeeding. Like, if they are suffering financially, it seems like this person is uh, is contemplating on contacting you in order to, you know, make sure that they know what's happening um, to you. Maybe to, com- to compare his or her financial status uh, to you. Because this person is not giving up. About he, he or she is not giving up um, on being this page of swords reversed. That's why the advice is cut them off completely. Completely. Sorry. Possible outcome if you're going to do is advice. And prosperity, of course. Okay. One card stand up uh, stood out knight of pentacles reverse this is the one who uh, the one which um, flew uh, upright the down the face down or <laughs> possible outcome uh, knight of pentacles so maybe they're it's either this is uh, another attempt to screw up your finances. If you're going to cut him or her off of your um, from your life, this person may... Um, it's either you're going to tackle or you will be able to settle any financial... Um, downfall especially if it has been done in the past so maybe you'll be able to settle your finances now that you've cut them off or there's a possibility that this person whoever he or she may be is going to send someone to offer you uh, like a trap business proposal to screw you up so it's like a warning and um, to sort of reverse, uh, this can also mean that this will provide, um, after you cut them off of your life, uh, this um, may be a past a financial downfall or a person that will be sent to you in order to screw up your finances. Uh, he or she is going to uh, give more indecision in your financial life but uh, it seems like you're not gambling on anything this time so apparently i mean so in the end whatever hidden plans this person may think about is not going to work bottom of the card (laughs) temperance so yeah you'll know who to trust what endeavor or what project you should you know invest on and temperance is balancing out everything it seems like you number three is not going to take someone's bullshit once or uh, while you're still working on something that needs to be settled first. So if someone is going to contact you, number three, and try to, you know, befriend you again after betraying you in the past, and um, there is some sort of a person close to her or him that wants to offer you something you'll know and temperance is um the card of you know weighing the pros and cons of the situation shall i do this shall i do that 
do I really have to be abundant in order to be peaceful? And temperance is a no, is an is a no answer to that question. This is being contented in your situation, even if you don't have money. So to hell with your money, bitch. So there. That's so your number three. Now we know who this is. Okay. Now for number four. Let's see. And for some reason I forgot to put the timestamps on number three. Okay. For number four. Oh, come on. Or number four, who wants to contact you? And why? Who wants to contact the person who chose number four? And why? Who wants to contact the person who chose number four? And why? Who wants to ah. What? Half of the deck jumped out. But the one that stood out to me is the Emperor reversed and King of Swords crosswise. But I would like to pull up one. Let's see if one of them is going to come back. Who wants to contact the person who chose number four and why? Who wants to contact the person who chose number four and why? Okay, this one wants to play. <laughs> so, King of Swords reversed an enemy. Or a secret enemy, because the, the King of Swords is very um, intelligent, logical, the cerebral king. So, this must be someone who is... Uh, scheming and plotting and, and, and uh, analyzing the best approach to um, to screw you up so possibly Aquarius, Libra Gemini not necessarily those are the zodiac signs but they usually have that that type of personality, very logical, very talkative, very convincing. Usually they work in professions uh, connected to professional advice, one that requires logic. Uh, the um, Examples are lawyers, doctors, uh, financial advisors, and all that. So let's see why this person is contacting you. The fool. He or she is taking a risk. Clarifying that. Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. I mean, Page of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. So, these three cards jumped out. So, there's a possibility that this person would like to take a risk on you regarding money. And there is something that he would like to try again with you that seemed to, or before he tried it before, but it looked like he tried it on the worst time. And now it seems like it feels to him that um, it's the right time to start again. That's why he or she's taking a risk. Uh, it has got something to do with possibly a baby, a mon uh, money, uh, a message regarding money. Maybe um, he or she would like to um, tell you something about his or her finances and invite you to take a risk with him. Maybe this is a business partnership. Let's see what's, what you need to do about this. 
high priestess. You can't lie to a high priestess. Even if you're the king of swords, so follow your intuition. You'll know if this proposal, if this offer is worth your time or not. In clarifying the high priestess is strength. So you'll know uh, based on your intuition, but it seems like you don't need to be aggressive about about the proposal, especially if you find out that it's something that's going to cause you trouble, especially if you know that the trouble is going to be offered to you intentionally uh, cloaked as a business proposal. So you'll know number four. If this King of Swords is, is trying to, um, you know, screw up your finances or you as a whole. Possible outcome if you're going to do is advised. Five of Swords, good. So you're going to cut off whoever or whatever that is not serving you. So... Five of Swords upright, it's an ongoing mind game. So, Five of Swords reversed, it's something that has been settled already. Someone has won, and in this case, it seems like it's you because you're the High Priestess. Just follow your intuition, you'll know if you can trust this person or not. And uh, the Strength upright is a diplomatic no. Or a diplomatic um, approach of communication, like you know, you're you're someone's trying to offer you a box of box filled with snakes, shall I say? But you um, you will know how to handle this person. You will know how to intimidate this person and and. Um, make him back off so there that's for you number four for some reason i would like to see the bottom of the card of the deck is eight of swords so you may be having the opportunity to to tackle the fear that you thought you have or, or the fear that you have that you thought you, there's no way out of the situation. So maybe you're going to find out everything. Um, Eight of Swords is not knowing what to do because not all information is um, disclosed. So in this case, maybe there are things that hasn't been of or that hasn't been disclosed to you before and will now be uh, put out in the open and you'll know if you can trust this person or not and it's possible that you will not and you'll know through your intuition and you'll call him off so there that's for you number four and that'll be the last of the choices if you like the video please like comment share and subscribe for personal readings the link on my facebook um my facebook page link is on the description box below and if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kaka. And if you've been a subscriber, maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you so much. And I will proceed now to my video reading for Taurus. And that'll be all. Thank you so much. And have a good one.